Now, the first time I had to install the anti-latency camera tracking system, I really struggled, but now I have to get it working with the new version of Unreal Engine. Now, I've obviously already set up my tracking area, but in order to know how to put together your floor tiles and sensor bars, you need the anti-latency service app, and I've linked that in the description. I've downloaded and launched the anti-latency service, and this is where we're going to define our tracking area. So there's some examples and presets here, but we're gonna create a new environment. So select horizontal grid, then I'm gonna define the size of my tracking area. So this room is 2.4 meters by 2.4 meters. Just set that to whatever your space is, and I'm gonna leave everything else at default. This was when Josh hit his first roadblock. He stared at the empty tracking grid and just started clicking. He clicked everywhere, like a blind man playing darts. Then, finally, he decided to read the manual. How did you know that? To draw bars on the grid, you just click and drag, and you drag in the direction you want the bar to be. I'm gonna draw mine in a square that matches the formation I have on the map behind me. Then in the routing tab, just double click where the nearest plug socket's gonna be. Now you just click evaluate and it shows you how everything connects up. So now you can go lay out and assemble your sensor bars and mats. So let's get it working in Unreal Engine. On Anti-Latency's website, you need to download the latest version of their SDK plugin. Just make sure that under release, you've selected the latest release and that under target, you've selected Unreal Engine and then click generate. And once it's generated, just click download. But clicking download takes you to a GitHub page. Just click code and then download zip. Whew. This was a critical moment. With many paths ahead of him, Josh charged forward, unzipping the plugin, placing it just anywhere and still wondering why it wouldn't work. Confused, he sat there, his mind spinning like a crazed mongoose. All right, that's enough. It is not fun anymore. This is the part where most people get confused. I thought it was fun. It was a bad idea. So here's the right thing to do. You need to make sure you have Visual Studio, which is a free piece of software from Microsoft. Download it, make sure you run the Visual Studio installer, and inside there, I need you to check these packages and make sure you install them. You need .NET Desktop Development, desktop development with C++ and also game development with C++. And then install. And now you're one step closer to that tracked moving camera you've always dreamed of. <laughs> now go to the Epic Games Launcher and launch the engine that you want to use anti-latency with. And we're gonna create a blank C++ project. And we're gonna call mine Source. The project will then open, but just close it because we're going to come back to this. So anti-latency's plugin can be used as a project specific plugin, but I want to use it in the entire of the engine. So I'm going to use this C++ project to package it correctly and use it throughout this version of Unreal. Now you remember that SDK zip file we downloaded? Now we need it. So go to the downloads where it is and copy it. And now navigate to where you saved your source project. We're going to create a new folder, call it plugins. And then inside there, you can paste the zip and extract it. Just then, Josh remembered about the next problem he faced. Now was the time for him to get it right. Finally. Okay, that, right, that's enough of that. I'll take it from here, all right? If you don't want a narrator, why did you hire me? Look, I'll pay you for the day. But yeah, we do need to change the name of this file because the name is far too long. So I'm just going to change it to anti-latency. So now you can launch your source project and go straight to the plugins menu. And you should find the plugin anti-latency. Here it is right here. Just enable that and restart. And then you'll be faced with this dreaded pop-up. Now, because we've already done everything we need to do with Visual Studio, this should not cause us any issues when we click yes. Looks like it's working. And now with the project relaunched, we can actually package this plugin to make it into an engine plugin so it'll work across all of Unreal. Just click package and select where you're gonna save your plugin. I'm just selecting the desktop for now. Of course, the package plugin task failed. Shut up. Right, it says plugin package task failed, but it actually didn't. If you go to your desktop, you're gonna find anti-latency SDK, the folder right there. And I promise you when we install that to the engine, it's gonna work. Head over to where your engine is and go to the plugins folder and just paste it. So now I can launch any of my projects made with that engine version because it's now an engine plugin. Now we can plug the anti-latency dongle into the computer via USB-C and turn our tracker and floor mat on. I can feel it guys, we're really, really nearly there. I can just see the camera dancing around in my head. 
So in plugins, let's search for anti-latency. There it is, anti-latency SDK. Let's enable that and restart. So let's add a set of blueprints from the anti-latency plugin to make this all work. So you've got to go to your settings in content browser and just select to show plugin content. And now under engine, plugins, you'll find the anti-latency SDK content. So in blueprints, samples, actors, you want to drag in the BP alt environment or BP alt environment with markers. Either of them will do, but the BP alt environment with markers will show the tracking markers on your floor during runtime in the engine. I'm going to use that one. Drag that into your scene and then drag in the device manager as well. And you'll see exactly what I mean when I hit play. Now you can see the position of the markers on your mat in your Unreal Engine space, so you know exactly where you're going to be placed in the scene. Just one more thing. Let's right click in the content browser. We're going to create a blueprint of actor class. We're going to call this tracked camera. This blueprint is going to define the device we're using. In my case, that's the alt tracker. So when I move my tracker around in space, it's going to move this blueprint. Under anti-latency SDK content, go to blueprints, samples, and scene components. In scene components, you're going to find the alt tracker. There it is, BP alt tracker tag. This is what you need to drag into components in this blueprint. And then if you want to track a camera, you need to create a cine camera component. And just drag the cine camera and parent it to the alt tracker. Compile that blueprint and save it. Then drag your tracked camera into the scene. Now when I hit simulate, tracker should go green. Yeah, there we go. I can now look around, up, down, left, right. That's working perfectly, actually. Now if your track is not going green when you hit simulate, it's probably a good idea to open up anti-latency service and make sure that your tracker is being picked up. So in anti-latency service, you'll be able to click on device network. You can see here, I've got my alt tag being picked up. If you don't see your device there, simple turn it off and on again should work. Maybe just disconnect and reconnect the dongle and it should come up. And one final thing, just make sure that anti-latency service is actually closed when you want to do some tracking because it won't work with that app running in the background. I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for making videos like this possible. And if you're not currently a patron and you want to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one. Josh. Yes? Josh sucks.